Okay folks, we're here at the next test. I got my sodium hydroxide in today and uh, this is the first system that we set up and we used two uh, teaspoons of baking soda with the um, with, with, with the distilled water. Just finished putting this system together and added two teaspoons of the potassium hydroxide and I am absolutely ex blown away, <laughs> no pun intended, with the amount of hydrogen, it's the, the, the difference in it. This, this is incredible. I'm not going to get too deep into this, um, this set of tests. Uh, simply, I want to just give you the brief um, understanding of the difference, of them, enough, of them, enough of it for you to know why you want the potassium hydroxide versus the sodium bicarbonate. That works, and if that's what you've got, it will work. Now, um, I'm going to connect over here to just hooking in, if it will, it was a minute ago, hooking in to the negative, and then I'm going to take the two positives, and there's the red wire for that system. And you can see it's starting to go down, and there goes the water down, and away it goes. That's, and if you see, it's really bubbling quite a lot. And I was really, really impressed with that. And I thought, oh my, I have a whole lot of hydrogen now. Let me come over here and connect the white wire, and look at that. Zoom! Hands down. There's no contest here. Alright, I'm going to disassemble that because we don't want to over choke ourselves with hydrogen in here. Um, I'm going to make this uh, other uh, statement here. The amount of, uh, of reaction that you've got is going to uh, be directly correlated with the amount of um, salt or uh, um, electrolyte that's in in the container. I'm not going to go through and fine tune this. This You can play with that on your own. There's other folks that have um, recipes out there. All I wanted to do is just for the fun of it see the difference. Since I couldn't get um, uh, the, the potassium hydroxide in as fast as I wanted to play with it, I, I substituted the sodium bicarbonate because um, there was a couple other videos that said, oh hey use this. Um, the sodium bicarbonate is going to be a bit safer uh, for handling, uh, but if, if you're careful, there's no reason why the, the, the potassium hydroxide uh, shouldn't be used. So, you saw the difference there. That means I will end up changing it out. Um, I've got a, a, another um, test that I'm going to do. I uh, can't do it right now because um, I'm in and out of sun. But earlier today, I had a chance to, to just briefly hook the, the baking soda one up to, um, to my 100-watt solar panel, and it, it worked. I mean, it, it straight, straight to it, it worked. So a 100-watt solar panel, it, was, it only produces a little under 5 amps, and I did have direct sun on it. So what I do know, it, was, it wasn't pulling enough amps probably to be as efficient as it could. So it was bubbling, but not at the same rate. So I think um, more amps, or um, what I'll probably do is a quick another one of these um, um, updates, just to connect the um, the 100 watt solar panel to both before I change out the the sodium bicarbonate. But I will be replacing that because obviously you see the difference. I mean that's incre incredible. Uh, I'm also going to give you um, uh, a quick timing test. I've got a uh, somewhere around here. Oh, here. Two little bottle. I'm going to use the same um, method um, to uh, check how fast it fills it so we can come up with some kind of, of volume for you based on, on what we're doing. So I'll be back with you in a minute and then we'll put all that together and uh, hopefully this uh, is, uh, is, is enlightening for you. But that's it for the moment. We'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, here's the next part of the test. 
I'm going to only do the uh, potassium hydroxide first or at all because I don't think I need to do the others. The way this works is I've got the tube fed into a um, a two liter bottle and it's full of water. There's a little bubble right there on the top of it. So what we're going to do is find out how long it takes to fill that two liter bottle by evacuating all the water out of it. So as we um, as this goes what will happen is that the hydrogen will push out the water and it's going to float to the top and then we'll we'll time it. So what's our seconds reading here? It's seven seconds. Seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. So starting at ten. Ten seconds in. Oh, I'm leaking. I'm leaking. Seconds. It's leaking, so yeah. I'm losing some of it. So I'm and losing some of it. We just lost the clock. I can't see. There we go. See, I'm We're leaking. I'm leaking some hydrogen through the fitting there. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. Oh, this is just seconds. thirty. Forty seconds. Okay. Yep. See. I didn't mean to stop stop it here, but 40 seconds for, um, and it probably would have been a little bit less than that. As you could see, I was looking at, this is not very scientific, mind you. This is just to give us an idea of what we're doing um, and how much it's producing. Um, so it, it, I'm just going to rough guess that probably within um, 35 seconds, I would have had a two liter um, bottle filled with hydrogen. Um, you know, I can get a little bit more uh, exact. I, I don't think I need to uh, simply put. Um, you're you're looking at almost four liters per minute. So uh, we we can play with the numbers. I don't know how many amps it's pulling it, off the battery system here. Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, what we do know is this this is probably as maxed out as this can get and that is a tremendous amount of hydrogen. That is way more than what I thought we could do with the other one. Uh, both of these systems are identical save um, uh, the, the for, for all intents and purposes save the difference between the, the um, electrolytes. So I hope this helps you understand the the difference. I haven't seen any any uh, videos that actually compared the two of them, uh, but maybe I haven't searched enough. Anyway, that's it. The next step, like I said, will be um, uh, showing you that it co connecting it directly to solar uh, is enough to to make it work. So um, we'll catch you on that point.